Dear Mighty Spacers and YouTubers, today, today, it's May 23rd, 2009. I'm here to tell everybody that it's over. I was watching Marky Marcus's channel and he's talking about the state of California and the economic collapse. I live in New York myself and gas prices is literally going up to $250 through the roof here, $253 and the taxes just keep getting worse and worse and the uh, economic collapse is here. And I'm just here to warn everybody that the tribulation is really, really close to uh, close. As I work today, I was talking to a guy about politics and my manager today is like, oh, you don't talk about politics here. Well, you do because you know what? This is fucking America and you have the first... Uh, First Amendment rights, and you know what, if you don't like that, you're a fucking little sensitive herb, and you know what, if you don't like it, you know what, you can go fuck off, you know, before you get the fucking smack macked up, just like Tupac says, you know, in a song there, you know, years ago when he was writing you know, about hit him up, you know, where he talks about fucking your wife and stuff, you know, we are in the end times, and I was watching the Hebrew Israels, and God's coming back very eventually, he's coming back in the form of fire, I believe, you know, he's going to rain fire down us, or if he could even come back in the form of a nuclear bomb, that's how close we are. And I believe, you know, it's man's punishment is the mark of the beast and the RFID chip, you know, because they want to collapse this economy. There really is no collapse, but they're creating it by your governments and the Illuminati. I mean, look at the dollar bill with the triangle and the six-starred figure, you know, the Jewish flag, you know. But just put it all together, religion's evil itself, you know. I mean, just look at uh, Barack Obama at the commencement speech in Notre Dame, and then one day later he meets with the uh, leaders of Israel. And halfway through the weekend, you know, Iran uh, launches a missile. I'm just here to warn everybody that once Israel strikes Iran, it is over. And I believe it's going to happen here in the next month to six months because Israel has already warned Iran they have that amount of time frame. And this Benjamin Netanyahu, he don't fuck around just like 50 Cent said, you know. He's like, we don't play that. We don't fucking mess around, you know. And it's just like the song by Little Wayne and Kevin Rudolph, you know, let a rock theory where he talks about the uh, end times. And we clearly are in the end. Uh, make no mistake about it. And uh, Jesus Christ is real. And he's coming back. And he's coming back uh, with fire because he's upset with all the sins and all the wickedness in the earth. And uh, you make sure you pray always that you're kind of worried to escape the things that are to come. In the first of two raptures of the Church of Philadelphia because it's real. All these religious institutions are all filled with lies. The Baptists and stuff you have to initiate and this and that. And the mark of the beast is the punishment. And I believe that's December 21st, 2012. is seen in some movies like Indiana Jones also too. You know, and you know, seeing the the dollar burn, you know, in uh, the movie uh, Dark Knight last year, Batman, you know, where the Joker burned the money, you know, he Ledger playing the Joker partner wanted, you know, save uh, one, kill a thousand United Nations uh, model, you know, uh, starve or be dead, or a barcode and tattoo on right hand or forehead, starve and be dead. I still believe that it isn't a Vera ship, by the way, from doing my study. I think it's some kind of ink that they'll put on a person. I can still cause cancer, but RFID technology, because it's a lot faster to ink people up than it is to put a uh, chip in their right hand or forehead. But that basically is the rich man's punishment. All you rich fools out there, you know, like Donald Trump and, you know, the Rockefellers and the Warren Buffetts out there thinking that nothing can happen to you because you're pulling out of this country and you want control. And the big uh, bankers like Timothy Geithner, you got yours coming also, too, at the Mark of the Beast. And, you know, it's very real judgment. And uh, he's going to judge all you guys. You guys are going to have, uh, just like the Bible says, the second half of tribulation when the seals are released. You guys are going to have locusts coming out of the earth that are going to eat your soul alive. You know, you want to die, but you won't die. You're going to have boils on your right forehead. The sea's going to turn to blood. The stars are going to fall down because Jesus. Jesus Christ is King of King of Lord of Lords. And make no mistake about it, 2009 is just the beginning, and I think this is going to be a horrific summer. I think there's going to be all kinds of chaos, because that's what the Illuminati ultimately wants. And uh, we are in the end times, and it's time to... Uh, to sound the trumpet. But I just want to play a clip uh, for you before I let it go. That sums up the kind of... Uh, Star living in, and you tell me that these aren't the fake Jews that are buying us and engineering us. This is a song from 2008, right before the elections, when the gas prices dipped and all of a sudden things are going high. Of course, the pagan holidays like Christmas time, Moose's birthday, Nimrod, I could go on on. Well, listen to this. Well, anyway, you know that song, Let It Rock by Little Wayne there and stuff? Uh, you know, Let It Rock, you know, the song's a disgrace. He knew his father when he cursed his name, turned and chased a dollar. But it broke, so he stuck his middle finger to the world, to the world, to the world. And where he talks about you take your time, you know, and you do your crime, you know, and you get what's yours and you get what's mine. I got mine, you know, the people who claim to be Jews, you know, that aren't Jews, you know, because he talks about when I arrive, I bring the fire. That part's right. They, they're they getting you uh, exactly prepared for what is coming because World War Three is right around the corner. And I just thought I'd share that really quick to Hollywood industry and the Masons and the military industry. Uh, we are in the end days and it's going to happen this year. And I have to tell you, people don't believe me now. You want to call me a bigot? 
a fucking hypocrite, whatever. But once Israel strikes Iran, it is all over, and you'll, you'll, you'll regret that you picked on me. And you know, like the Khan says, I hope it gives you hell. I hope it gives you hell if you say anything negative about me, because this, this is the truth, and this is real. So until next time, may God.